In this video, we are going to see another design problem with respect to Turing machine. Before getting into the problem, once again I request all my viewers to subscribe, comment, share, like my video. And also I request my viewers to give the problems, to mention the problems, what they are expecting me to solve. So that I can make the other videos. I can do those problems in the other videos. Okay, let us get into the problem. This is a problem. The language is WWR where W belongs to A comma B whole star. W is a string. W is made up of A's and B's. So what is WR? WR is nothing but the reverse of W. I have given an example here. W is equal to BBA. WR is equal to ABB. So W, W, R put together it is nothing but B, B, A, A, B, B. So we need to design a Turing machine to recognize these pattern of strings. So first let us realize what is the pattern of the strings. The pattern what the language describes is nothing but palindromes. So what is a palindrome? If you read a string from left to right and right to left it is one and the same. And the length of the palindrome is even. So this language generates set of even palindromes. Okay, now let us discuss about the logic before designing the Turing machine. What is the logic? Read right head is pointing to the first symbol in the input tape. The first symbol can be A or B. But in this example, the first symbol is A. The first symbol or the character is B here. So when it reads the first symbol, whether it is B or A, it is replaced by blank symbol. And the read right head continues to move in the right hand side direction till it finds this blank symbol. Once it finds the blank symbol, the read right head moves in the left. When it is moving in the left, the very first symbol what it encounters must also be. If it is B, that B must be replaced by blank. Then once again it continues to move in the left till it finds the first blank symbol in the left hand side direction. When it finds the left hand side direction, the direction of read right head changes to the right. Once again in the right hand side direction, it reads the next symbol. What is the symbol available here? It is B. When it reads B, replace it by blank. Allow the read right head to move in the right hand side direction. When it moves in the right hand side direction, it finds the blank symbol. Till it finds the blank symbol, allow the read right head to move in the right. Once it finds the blank symbol, change the direction towards left. In the left hand side, the expected symbol is B because here it read B. So when it moves in the right hand side, the right hand side also, the same symbol is expected. If it reads B, that B is to be replaced by blank. Now I just try to give a scenario. This B is replaced by blank. Similarly, the last B is also replaced by blank. Now it comes completely to the left. Now this B is replaced by blank. Then it continues to move in the right. This B is also replaced by blank. Now what is the current state of input tape? This is the current state of input tape. The thing is, the very first symbol is matched with the last symbol. Then the second symbol is matched with the last but one. At the next step, the third symbol or character must be matched with the last but two. It needs to be continued. The same way here we have done. When it reads the first symbol, replace it by blank. Allow the read right head to move to the right hand side because it should read what is the last symbol. To locate the last symbol, allow the read right head till it reads the blank symbol. Then change the direction towards left. The B whatever it read, that is replaced by blank again. Then again it moves in the left to read the next symbol in the left hand side. It reads B, replace it by blank, go in search of blank symbol, again move the read right head towards left. It reads B that is also replaced by blank symbol. Now this is the current scenario of the input tape. Now the read right head is pointing to this. It reads A. When it reads A, replace it by blank. Allow read right head to move in the right hand side direction till it finds a blank symbol. Once it finds a blank symbol, change the direction towards left. Now the expected symbol in the left hand side direction is also A because it already read A. The expected symbol 
from the in the left hand side direction is also a this a is also replaced by blank now again it moves in the left hand side direction till it finds b immediately it finds a blank symbol once it finds the blank symbol it is going to move in the right hand side direction but now it is not finding either a or b it is finding only the blank symbol if it finds only the blank symbol it means all the first half of the palindrome as well as the second half of the palindrome is matched so the string contains only the blank symbol so confirm that the read write head is reading only the blank symbol and then stop the turing machine this is the logic now keeping this logic in mind we are going to design the turing machine tran transition diagram now so as usual the turing machine in the beginning lies in the start state let us assume the start state is q0 from the state q0 it is going to read the very first symbol of the string so let us keep the comparison of this input the first symbol can be a also it can be b also so we have to consider both the possibilities if it is a let us assume that the turing machine is going to travel in this direction if it is b it is going to travel in this direction so okay if the symbol is a what has to happen that a must be replaced by blank further the read write head is going to move in the right hand side direction and the state is changed to q1 now from q1 it is going to move completely in the right hand side direction to find the blank symbol but in between it can come across a as well as b when it reads a and b nothing to do with those symbols so how to define that if it reads a retain that a as it is but allow the read write head to move in the right hand side direction if it reads b retain that b in the input tape as it is but allow the read write head to move in the right hand side direction at one point after reading all these a's and b's it would be reading the blank symbol as in this case if it reads a blank symbol retain that blank symbol as it is but change the direction of read right head towards left and change the state to q2 now from q2 the read right head is ready to move in the left hand side direction when it moves in the left hand side direction what is the symbol to be expected or to be read by the turing machine since it read a in the beginning at the end also it should read a then only the string is a palindrome when it reads a this a is replaced by blank further allow the read write head to move in the left hand side direction and change the state to q3 now from q3 it continue to move in the left hand side direction till it finds the blank symbol here till it finds a blank symbol here so from q3 it may read any number of a continue to move in the left it may read any number of b continue to move in the left once it finds a blank symbol retain that blank symbol as it is change the direction of the read write thread for and change the state back to q0 again from q0 it begins scanning of the symbols from the beginning it might be a or b it continue to move in the right it will be finding its matching symbol it repeats the same thing so that is why we have changed the transition from q3 to q0 again now from q0 we assume that it reads b when it reads b that b must be replaced by blank symbol continue to move in the right hand side direction and change the state to q4 now from q4 it may happen to read any number of a's continue to move in the right it may happen to read any number of b's continue to move in the right hand side direction at one point in the right hand side direction it must be reading the blank symbol when it reads a blank symbol change the state to q5 and further the read right head is going to move in the left hand side direction from q5 
the expected symbol because it read B. So at the right end also we expect the B itself. If B is there, replace it B by blank symbol. Change the direction of the read right head to left. Let me connect this to Q3. Now the status changed back to Q3. Again from Q3 when it is moving in the left, it will be able to read any number of A, any number of B. And at one point it would be reading the blank symbol. Once again, now the Turing machine, the read right head is ready to read either A or B. It repeats like this. Okay, when the Turing machine will reach the accepting state, at one point from Q0, it would be reading only the blank symbol. It would not be reading either A or B. It would be reading only the blank symbol. If it reads only the blank symbol, allow the read right head to move in the right hand side direction. Change the state of the Turing machine to new state. Let it be Q6 and say that Q6 is the final state. And also confirm that it is reading only the blank symbols. Allow the read right head to move in the right hand side direction. So this is the design of the Turing machine in the form of transition diagram to recognize even palindromes. Now let us see the instantaneous description. Instantaneous description is nothing but just understanding the working of the Turing machine with respect to an example. Let me take a small uh, string. I don't want this big string right now. So the start state of the Turing machine is Q0. Let us assume that the input tape contains the string A, B, B, A. We know that it is a palindrome. It's an even palindrome. And imagine that the string is surrounded by blank symbol. B represents the blank symbol. So from Q0, it reads A. The read right head is always pointing to the very first character of the input tape. It reads A. When it reads A, what happens at the next instant? When it reads A, the status changes to Q1 and that A is replaced by blank. Further, the read right head is ready to move in the right hand side direction. So let me represent the same thing here. So from Q0, if it reads A, I have written the same string as it is. What happens at the next instant? This A is replaced by blank. The state is changed to Q1 and it is ready to move in the right hand side direction. Always we have to write the state just before the symbol what it reads or just after the symbol what it is going to read. The state will be presenting and also I have underlined the symbol what it is reading at the next instant. It is reading this B. When it reads this B, continue to stay in Q1 itself. But the read right head continue to move in the right hand side direction. Now it is going to read this B now. When it reads this B, it accepts that B as it is and continue to move in the right hand side direction. At the next instant it reads this A. When it reads this A, there is no change in the state, it continues to stay in Q1, but the read right head continues to move in the right hand side direction. See the movement of this underlined. You will come to know the read right head is moving in the right hand side direction. As soon as it sees the blank symbol from Q1, if it reads the blank symbol, retain that blank symbol as it is, but the read right head is moving in the left hand side direction and the state is changed to Q2. So let us represent the same thing here. B, 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 A, status changer to Q2, B. Now this Q2, from the state Q2, the Turing machine is going to move in the left hand side direction and it is reading the symbol A. When it reads the symbol A, that A is replaced by blank and the status changer to Q3, Further, the read right head is going to move in the left hand side direction. When it is moving in the left hand side direction, it has to move till it finds a blank symbol. Till it finds a blank symbol, it continues to stay in Q3. So I am not going to write all the steps directly. I'll jump to the step Q3, 
B, 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 B. So from Q3, it is reading the blank symbol. As soon as it reads the blank symbol, the state is changed to Q0. That is what I have given in the transition diagram. From Q3, if it reads a blank symbol, the state is changed to Q0. Further, the read right head is going to move in the right hand side direction. Now, if you observe this instantaneous description at this instant, what the input tape describes? The first A and the last A is replaced by blank since both are matched. Now it is going to read from the beginning of the string, it has B. When it reads B, what happens at the next instant? From Q0, if it reads B, from the state Q0, if it reads B, the state is changed to Q4. So let us write like this. This B is replaced by blank and the state is changed to Q4. Further, it is going to move in the right hand side direction. When it moves in the right hand side direction, if it comes across any A or B, it just retains those symbol, it does not modify, but continue to stay in Q4 itself till it finds the blank symbol. So let me write directly there B, B. When it reads this B, continues to stay in Q4, B, B. As soon as it reads B, from the state Q4, the state is changed to Q5. Further, the read right head is going to move in the left hand side direction. Now, the expected symbol when it is moving in the left hand side direction is B because it read B here. So, it should find the matching B from the right hand side of the string. So, when it read this B, this B is also replaced by blank. And the state is changed to Q3. From Q3, it continues to move in the left. When it continues to move in the left, it comes across a blank symbol. As soon as it reads a blank symbol from Q3, the state is changed to Q0. And the direction of the read right head is going to move in the right hand side direction. Now from Q0, when it reads blank symbol, it means there are no A's, there are no B's. The first half of the string is matched with the second half of the string. So from Q0, if it reads a blank symbol, from Q0, if it reads a blank symbol, change the state to Q6. And say that it has reached the accepting state or the final state from Q6. Allow the Turing machine to read the rest of the blank symbols. I have given a self loop here which will read blank symbols n number of times. Now once it reaches the Q6, it means the given string belongs to the language of even palindromes. This problem is very simple problem. You can also try for other uh, palindrome strings, uh, something like A, B, A, A, B, A, or B, B, A, A, B, B, or B, A, A, B. Please try for the strings with this transition diagram and uh, please leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you.